Did you draw your whole family? I draw the dogs more than I draw my family. <laughs> they were my Christmas card one year. Meet Perdita, Horace, and Dinah. And here's their owner, Kyle Starks. Eisner nominated comic book writer, artist, whose works include Where Monsters Lie, Mars Attacks, I Hate This Place, and the current run of DC Comics Peacemaker. We meet Kyle and his special pack today on Industry Pets. Kyle Starks, thanks for being with us today on Industry Pets. How are you, my man? I'm doing good, man. What a day to be on Industry Pets. Tell us about your dogs. They're all rescues. I have three dogs. They're all big boys. I have an old dog named Dinah, who's basically a cat and doesn't like dogs. Dinah is black. She definitely has some kind of lab in her. A brother or sister that we rescued after our number one dog died. We got two puppies to, to replace one dog. They're brother and sister, and their names are Purdy and Horace. Purdy and Horace are definitely part German Shepherd because we saw their mom at the rescue. We're big dog people. This is what we have. Too much dog for such a little space for sure. You replaced one dog with two dogs. How long did you have your first dog? What was his name? We gotta give a shout out to the Fallen. Yeah, so, so this is a true story. When I met my wife, she was dating one of my friends and she had this dog, this dog Stella, which was like, like a border collie with a chow hair, right? And I adored this dog, it was great. And listen, I was hanging out with my wife, now wife, because of this great dog. Like I'd go over there and play with this dog after work. Uh, and then, you know, some things happened. And next thing you know, like literally three months later, we were married. If she didn't have that dog, like what have I been hanging out at my wife's place? I don't know. Uh, but she was great. She was smart and sweet. Like she was, and she was literally the best dog. She got in the trap. That was like her one thing everyone's favorite we still like i'm gonna i'm like right now i can feel it in like the back of my head but when she passed away i had always said i'm like we're we're a two dog house when that dog's gone we're not going to do we, we don't have to honor her with emptiness like we're going to honor her by having another dog in this house so we went to the rescue me and my wife and my two kids i walk in the door open and i sort of look to the right and this cage right here has two little brown puppies in it, and they're the cutest little puppies and as soon as i saw them i'm taking two puppies home today if you take their best aspects they're maybe as good as stella was maybe oh. <laughs> combined com combined listen their dogs are like people they could all be great but some of them are actually great and like that dog <laughs> was great everything about that dog was a plus except for the trash thing but listen no one's perfect so a lot of people have funny nicknames for their dog do you have any special nicknames other names what are the alternate names i feel like i feel like saying saying, saying pet name for your pets has to be like one of the top 20 most embarrassing things that you can do because those are private names yeah dinah <laughs> is dinah d perdita purdy obviously my wife calls her peapod which i think is like the food <laughs> peapod i call horace he's horace Beauregard. he's the mayor of starksville and sometimes you mix it up he's horace Beauregard or whatever you know what I I mean the zilla diller man i don't know why he got that i call him the zilla diller man a lot he likes it i think that's all of them dogs and their nickname your kids always grew up with a dog household how did your kids react to puppies versus having this older dog that existed they were so little they never really paid a lot of attention to the two prior dog until we got the puppies and the puppies are funny because my youngest daughter she's in the puppy pack these two dogs think my youngest daughter is with them in the in the house <laughs> so like when she comes home they kind of drag my daughter to the couch and they jump on you know, like, we're so happy to see you. And this is how we sort of, and I'm like, I'm like, Jama, like, this does not have to happen. And she's like, no, it's like, it's what we do. It's what we do. Aww. They're the puppy pack. And Adeline, my oldest is above all the dogs. So they sort of respect her. Do your dogs like to go outside in parks or do they stay in the house? So they run around outside. My wife, uh, my wife goes outside a lot and sort of hangs out outside and they go with her. Like they just follow my wife everywhere she goes, which is adorable. For Horace, he's a big, he's a big athletic ball boy. Uh, you throw it, he's going to catch it. It's amazing. He's so good and he loves it. He loves to show off. So he gets a lot of that, but you know, we can't walk him because there's three dogs and they fight to be in the lead. Like there's, they just don't have, if, if I take one dog, a dream. If I take two dogs, nightmare. One time I took three dogs. On occasion, we do take them to like the park, um, Wesselman Park here in town. And we throw a ball for a little bit and then we go for a little walk and it's great. Do any of your real life dogs inspire the dog in Peacemaker? No, no, not at all. I mean, I have big dogs <laughs> and he got, he's got a little dog. I'll tell you what's so, like, I, I'm talking about Peacemaker a lot. I kind of had to give him a dog because in the TV show he has a bird that I could not use legally so we had to sort of come <laughs> up with like a, a replacement but right now I'm doing Where Monsters Lie I'm doing I Hate This Place I'm doing Peacemaker those are all going to come out May 2nd two of those books have dogs in them Where Monsters Lie has a, a has like a Cujo type dog Mars Attacks has a dog in it named uh, <laughs> Butthead obviously Peacemaker has this French Bulldog which has the best name ever I'm not going to spoil it go buy the issue I'm writing three more books and two of those books have dogs in them and I'm like man I am setting up a press of being the dog man. So I have to take a break after these three books. If there's not a dog or a pet in a book, 
I bet I had a plan that there would be a dog or a pet in the book at some point, right? I feel like, you know, dogs like make everything better. If your three dogs that you have now, and we'll go shout out to Stella too, rest in peace. So if they were four comic book characters, which ones would they be? Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do this game. I can do them as pop culture characters. Dinah would be like, if it was a Disney movie, the whomever the villain is would have like an assistant. I feel like that would be Dinah. Horus is like, he's very try hard. He wants to be in charge. I think he only has good intentions, but he's also kind of a dumb coward. Um, <laughs> you know who he would be? Is the boss from The Office. Michael Scott, yeah. There you go. Dinah, she's very sweet, she's very smart. She just eats, but she's so good. I don't know who that would be. Divine. <laughs> from, from Pink Flamingos? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, maybe? No, no respect. She's like, if Rodney Dangerfield was Superman, Stella to me was like Batman. I, I, that's the comment, like that dog was like, what are you gonna say bad about, about that dog? Maybe there was one thing wrong with him. Like maybe Batman should stop bringing these kids into his life. Cause she just got in the trash. And I, honestly, I feel like outside of that, she was a perfect companion in every way. You got people that maybe don't have pets. What do you say to them? Here's my thing. When I was single and I was a young man who drank a lot, I had a cat. That cat did not like anyone but me. Her name was Prudence. And when I came home drunk and would literally sleep on the floor, she'd come over and hang out with me. If you're single or if you're busy, you don't want a dog, you want a cat. And they're great. Like all lives are enriched by pets. And I think there's science to back that. I think that you live like five years longer if you pet a dog every day or some, some I don't know. Like, I don't think you can top a good dog. What defines a good dog in many ways is defined by the owner. So it's like, there's a responsibility to that friendship. I have this bit in, um, in Peacemaker, I don't wanna give stuff away, but but little little Christopher Smith Peacemaker says, he's like, I think a dog's superpower is that they can find something to love in everybody. And I think that is, I think that is 100% true because of their pack nature and it enriches your life, man. It's great. If someone's like, what should I get? One, get a rescue dog. But why would you pay a lot of money for a dog? They're already out there. Make sure you get something that fits your lifestyle. Dogs are great. Get a dog if you can. Tell everybody where they can find you at Mr. Kyle Starks. What you got going on? Yeah, I'm uh, the Kyle Starks on almost all social media. I am award nominated comic creator and storyteller. And if you like comics and you're looking for something unique and different and dogs, I got you covered, my dude.